Hey folks, it's Dr. Groovy, Scott Grove, GroovyMusicLessons.com. Um, as you saw at the beginning, uh, the switch, the vibracell, guitars, basses, that was probably one-tenth of what they put out. Uh, what's the big deal about that? Um, the company only lasted two years, and they put out more guitars than anybody, like ever so many styles so many everything right off the get-go why did they go belly up cork sniffers <laughs> people who just refuse to play guitars that are not made out of wood okay again these were 2004 2005 and just everything you could possibly ever ask for every possible model as you saw and there are plenty more and it's just a it was a pop Again, no wood thing. Poly resin, um, mold injected um, stuff, kind of like the um, luthite stuff on everything that has been done. Uh, most reminds me of like these, same type of thing. The Ergodines by Ibanez, made from, again, from. Luthite. <laughs> Sounds like I got a lisp. But anyway, these are cool axes. So I got one. Yes, a green one. Okay, so this here's a signature four vibracell. But I got it because it had the three single coils on it. Okay, there you go. Let you check this stuff out. Even the headstock's done that way. Grover tuners are always stock. Um, it was made in a Chinese. Um, country called let's see uh, China okay <laughs> um, the ebonite fingerboard so very extremely smooth yes uh, these are the correct dots these are inlaid in here at all different colors just for this particular model um, there are a couple more that had it but same thing um, I have cleaned this up since I got it there was a big sticker residue thing back here from 12 years ago and I'll have a video here in a second of how I did all that and how I got rid of the crackle here for those who have never paid attention to any of my videos of course the uh, mother toilet seat pit guard the switch brand Alnico 5 um, pickups um, what's it sound like? Strat <laughs> and there you go again no bolt on stuff nothing just that um, substantial axe great axe um, these are going to go up really fast in price um, just no getting around it okay so that's pretty much the story they just were shunned by the entire musical world and you guys could have had every possible thing you could ever imagine not that they didn't make it already but this stuff is every bit as good as anything ever made um, that's it it's just a shame that people won't give um, things that are great a chance because it's not a Gibson from 58 59 or 60 and it's not a Fender from 52 57 or 62 uh, look, it's even got the uh, little telly jack that everybody likes. Um, these things had everything. They did. I'm going to buy a bunch more before um, I make the cost go up too much. Um, I got this one at a stupid price of like 200 bucks. Um, a lot of them around going for uh, five, six, seven, eight hundred, and fifteen hundred even for some of these. Um, so. If you want one, get yourself some of those amazing ones, as you saw. Um, again, nothing's going to surprise you by the sounds that I'm going to play, because they're Strat sounds. What does that mean? It means it sounds like a Strat. Okay. Um, da -da -da -da. There you go. Um, that's all I got for you. <laughs> okay. I uh, busted my damn tripod today. Uh, anyway. There it is. It, and it's an amazing guitar. It really, honestly, is. It's. 
I'd play this any day of the weekend. Um, again, if it was a piece of shit, I would tell you. <laughs> Um, strings are dead as this. They have actual rust on them. I have not cleaned up the fingerboard yet. Um, these things, it doesn't take anything to clean them up. And what a great fingerboard they are. If you want the best looking fingerboards around that shine like that, and you don't ever, ever, ever have to put any of your stupid oils or other magic bullshit on there. Man, I'll tell you when these really got to sucking was the second year. They started putting those Select by EMG pickups. Um, those should never be on a guitar, period. Um, so their own pickups are way, way, way better. The Select by EMG sound like any Duncan thing, so they sound like total shit. Um, but these sound great. Okay, so clean axe, clean sound. Um, that's all you need. One position. frets 22 frets like all the time no 21 fret uh, Mexican stuff going on here and the neck position <laughs> Switch Vibra Cells. Again, just 
some kind of poly resin dumped into a mold and hundreds of molds again the company coming out that flipping strong 2004 NAMM show uh, through 2004 then through 2005 started throwing the shitty pickups and again the EMG selects which are total garbage by anybody's definition hopefully because if you do dig them you're really digging some really horrible pickups they're, they're just oh my god so bad is that my opinion I guess it is but my opinion carries a lot of weight um, so does my body but they are total shit pickups again the switch pickups are much better sound a zillion times better and there you go so I'll show you uh, the video right now of when I got this and just like I said cleaned this and the one and only way to get rid of sticker residue that's um, over 10 years old but again people quit <laughs> please quit um, dismissing stuff this this coulda shoulda woulda been a amazing company to have around forever and ever and ever and you throw them away um, God I can't wait till my entire generation is dead you know just so hopefully the cork sniffers will just be gone you know of course guitars will be gone by then but so will all the people that make everything suck for everybody else amazing gig bags that come with these things too these are the hardcore heavy duty things if you don't get the uh, um, hard shell cases that come with them I mean look at this even their case their uh, gig bags are as cool as the guitars I mean how this is this is something I know you're like yeah something piece of shit no or not there's something to contend with so you want something good buy some of these um, if you want something that just keeps on keeps on keeps on getting shittier as the days go by stick with your Gibsons and Fenders okay enjoy the next little bit and you guys be groovy until the next time I yell at you Bye. okay so here we are in the back of the axe so it's a little bit of noise on the tone pot little crackling so you get the deoxit d5 best for everything in the world and when you're going to do these guitars just do everything right off the get-go even if you buy it brand new but pots all pots um, should be sprayed okay you'll see where all the three connections always are whether anything's connected to it or not but right next to that there's a little hole you know the same width as those three things just spray a little bit in there and then turn the guitar around and turn the knobs a few times so that's what I've already done and then as far as your toggle switches like this just put um, a little spray right here do it this way put a little spray in here if it gets on the guitar no biggie go back and forth you know a few times about that many times and you're good to go and again on the knobs uh, back and forth maybe ten times and they'll probably be good forever so good old deoxid d5 for all your little cleaning needs like that it's about the most perfect thing out there okay here on the back of the guitar I saw this when I was gonna buy it sticker residue probably from the day it was made and nobody ever takes this crap off um, solution creamy peanut butter no nuts allowed <laughs> I know then why am I doing it um, this works on everything especially everything um, a little dab will do you put it on there let it set for just a bit and that's kind of it it'll settle up for just a bit and we will get it off in a second but if you're using long extension cords big old hundred foot extension cords at outdoor gigs or on your um, guitar cables or whatever you're using and you put um, hopefully uh, some gaffing tape gaffers tape on there instead of duct tape but either way um, when you get home and you take all that crap off your cables they're gonna be really sticky and it's gonna suck for the rest of your life unless you just throw some peanut butter on them and it takes the stuff right off then you just zip something right all the way down it'll take every bit of the sticky stuff off quicker than it was put on okay so real time uh, peanut butter mm.
Yum, yum, yum. And yes, yeah, so I'll take the back plate off in a second. Should have probably done it to begin with. <laughs> but, here we go. And yes, it's better than your other methods, your um, hair dryers and all that other crap. So, there you go. And all there is to do now is just polish the guitar because it's gone. I'm just using a paper towel right now. Let's, I'll polish the guitar. But the uh, sticker that was on here for probably 15 years is 100% residue free. Not a single bit of stick on here. And I just got to clean the peanut butter now out of here. <laughs> but there you go. So um, lights, lights, there you go. Um, no sticker residue at all, at all, at all. So there you go. I'll just polish the guitar and we shall be done. Peanut butter. Peanut butter jelly time. Groovy!